We are in our workshop basement and Robin has a quick little project for me. Let's see what it is. So we are here in our basement where we have the warm water for heating our space. And we, right now it has an analog gauge that's kind of loose. And we want to swap that for a digital one. The problem is the temperature probe is too small for the hole and it's just loose in here. So we need a new part. So basically what's necessary is kind of an adapter sleeve that goes from the smaller diameter of the digital probe to this bigger diameter that's still not a really precise fit and kind of a shoulder that can interact with this clamping set screw. This one right here. Should be a straightforward part. The only issue I guess I think is uh, I have to make this from copper for proper heat conduction. How hard can it be? So let's do it. Robin told me he has an adequately sized piece of copper for this. Yep, that should do the trick. Can easily screw up 10 times. So the part needs this kind of shape. We have a through hole and the shoulder bit and a smaller diameter. And that's it. Main diameter is nine. Hole diameter is six. Shoulder diameter is 14. Overall length, 49 and a half. And tube length, 40. Let's put also a second shoulder right here. That's, I don't know, the material diameter and about, I don't know, four millimeters wide. I've never turned any copper before and I think the best thing I can do is just treat it like it's aluminum. That's also the only thing I can do. So at first switching to an aluminum insert. Now just setting up the constant cutting speed. So setting the diameter and my target cutting speed. Let's go with 150 meters per minute. Max RPM, let's go with 2200. That should be it. So now the light speeds up as I plunge in. No, 2200 is way too fast for that big piece sticking out. Let's go with 1500. That looks good. Turns really nicely. Now I first clean up pass. Now a bit of hogging. Okay, now a pre-finishing pass. That was with less depth of cut, so less tool and part deflection, which will now give me a more accurate reading. And I'm reading 14.4. So I am now make two finishing passes with 0.2 depth of cut. So my first diameter setting is 14.2. Let's check that. 14.19, that's okay. And now I set to 14 point. Yeah, let's do 40.01 and correct this one one hundredth of a millimeter. Okay, 
and there we go, 14.0. And now it's the same for the smaller diameter. Okay, it should be at 9.5, 9.51, and in the front, 9.57. Ooh, quite a bit of probably part deflection. So let's see if the finer cuts will help. That was just a tenth of a millimeter. Yep, 9.41 here, 9.43 here. So got a lot better. Now 9.31, 9.33. I guess that's the accuracy I have to live with on this part where it's really super uncritical, but it's good practice. And finally turning the shoulder to length. So I go to 40, plunge in. And a little bit back. And done. Now the hole. So switching to my chuck. And starting with the spot drill. Then the drill drill, hopefully this is suited for copper. It's pretty sharp. Fits, nice. Okay, the last feature I forgot to put in the drawing is this little groove here, which is a simple job for the parting tool. I can also use the parting tool to chamfer our edges. And then, of course, to part it off. And I can also interrupt the parting cut to chamfer this edge as well. Still a bit hot. Ouch, ouch, ouch. All right. Now, while this fits, this plastic sleeve part of the sensor is a little bit bigger in diameter, six and a half. So I think I'm gonna recheck the part like this and drill the hole here a bit larger so this fits kind of snug and stays in place there. Well, looks like this hole wandered a bit. Um, I mean, nothing to lose, let's try it. Yeah, that should work. Well, drill didn't snap. The hole is bigger. Great, that's snug. Robin, I got a part and a microphone for you. Nice. And I don't get anything. Okay. The moment of truth. The same loose fit as before. Nice. Where do we hang this? No need to hang it. That's the best place. Was it overkill to have this made out of copper? Absolutely yes, but why not? Do you like it? Yes. We just don't know if this works and we will only know next morning because we're not turning the heater on now. Now it's the next morning, the heater was on and we had to relocate this again. It's temporary, don't worry, almost 70 degrees C and we're seeing the same temperature in Home Assistant.
it's working.